Hi, this is Dauberin, and we're back with Recursion City MC. And I'm finishing up, well, I'm finishing up the last two uh, levels on the factory walls. And uh, also, I wanted to <laughs> show you how these things really work. It had been a while, okay, you know, in my defense, it had been a while since I had used them. Regar anyhow, they're easy to dismount, I mean, to uh, to take apart. And they're also easy to grow. And that's all it takes. You just left-click them, and they grow. They're not quite like the others in that uh, they don't quite take the, um, they're not quite as easy to use in the, in the uh, lateral sense because they only take two before they will stop accepting lateral movement, but they more than make up for that in the ease of use otherwise. Yeah, let's see if I can do this. Yes, I can. All right. Oh, <laughs> and you're supposed to dismount over where the, uh, yeah, where the. Mm. Easy to pick up, fast to move. Here we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, actually, I, I'm going to keep you with me for a little bit. I have, this is kind of a serious uh, subject, but... I just have a friendly suggestion. You know those uh, old friends of yours that you just kind of fell away from? Not necessarily, not even maybe an argument, just uh, just fell away from? And you figured, you know, someday I gotta look them up. They were good friends. We had some really neat times together. But you kind of put it off. Yeah, well, maybe don't put it off. Joseph Domenze. It was J O S E F Domenze. And he and I made friends in elementary school, I believe. Lasted until just out of high school. And then we just kind of grew apart. Mostly my fault because I was a jerk. But, and I moved away, moved away to San Jose and then elsewhere, Cupertino and. You know, I had things to see and people to do, and so 50 years later, well, that's not true, not 50 years later, um, probably every year after that, I kept thinking, you know, I got to I gotta get in contact with Joe and apologize for, you know, kind of sliding away from him, because, you know, we do stuff like, um, during summer vacation, I would get up, eat breakfast, and I'd head over to oh, <laughs> I'd head over to Joseph's house. And it was it was quite a ride, but and he usually, frankly, he usually came to my house because I was such a whiny little bitch that I I don't want to drive all the ride all the way over to your house. So he'd come over to my house because he wanted to hang around with Vern for some reason. Thank God, he was my only friend for the longest time. We would do crazy stuff. Uh, we would, um, oh, you know, uh, we would, you know, we'd play cowboys and Indians. We'd ride our bikes in the park and and uh, just do all the stuff you normally do. But then get a wild hair up our butt. There was a uh, really large um, drainage creek that they covered over. Oh, excuse me, they. 
cemented in, covered with a street, and then it just vanished. So we thought, well, let's find out what it's like under there. So we went under there, and here's this uh, two-part, and I imagine this is pretty normal. This is two-part ditch. It has a very um, small and very deep uh, ditch with a concrete divider and then the huge large area and apparently the the smaller one was for your average every day you know somebody washing their car or something like that that kind of that kind of water and the other one was for you know the the runoff the real the real stuff and so kind of looked at each other looked around saw a board so we put a board over the uh, leaned it put it into the outlet to the um, um, the deep one, the small deep one, and crawled into it and just kept crawling until our knees were bloody. And then um, we hear traffic. So I volunteered to open up the manhole cover to find out where we were. And <laughs> I almost got crushed by a car. It, well, it was a truck, actually. Um, we were in downtown Santa Rosa. We'd gone that far. And it was just, it was, I, you know, I don't know how to tell you why it was as fun as it was. It was just fun. It was places nobody else had really been, you know. Um, and then we thought, okay, we've been the lowest in the area. Let's go the highest. So we decided that we would try to find as many uh, buildings as possible that wherein we could uh, go to the top floor and then get up on sneak up on the roof and we take pictures of every building we did that on so we in fact did it and I still have the pictures today and then the one thing that did not come to fruition and I wish it had it would have been so dangerous we had a uh, water huge water tank with the typical security arrangements around it and we wanted to get to the top and hang a banner saying we are we were here and we had just intricate plans we had the the the, uh, the ladder um, designed and all that stuff and we just never did it but it was kind of things like that we started a neighborhood newspaper uh, I mean it was little rascals with two guys you know and it just floated away and I kept thinking I gotta got get in contact with Joe and the years went by and I kept thinking that and, you know every once in a while I didn't think about him every day but every, you know I kept thinking every once in a while I think about Joe and I go I wonder what he's going on so I'd look on the internet and, and I swear to God there is none of my old friends as few as there were that has any presence at all on the internet it's like every one of them was you know as an internet phobe so but I did find out a couple of things I knew his mom's name was Llewellyn and it did look like he was living in the same place he was before and uh, so I thought okay well and I had a phone number and I thought what am I gonna say you know I, I kind of deserted him as a friend I was a bad friend what am I gonna say I'm just you know apologize yeah but then I don't want to intrude on his life maybe he doesn't want to hear from me and that, that came went on and on, and I finally, okay, well, I won't call him. And then I didn't call him. And I didn't call him. And then about a week ago, I decided, screw this. May not want to hear from me, but I want to know what's going on in his life, how, you know, how he is. So I uh, signed up on one of those places where they search for people and well actually sign up I I did a search and they said oh, okay we found some stuff but you gotta you gotta sign up to find out what it was and it was twenty five dollars well apparently Joe Joseph was not worth twenty five dollars to me because I decided not to do that so and I'd you know gone pretty far into the process like they got my you know email address and all that stuff so what happens maybe an hour later they uh, I get an email well you know we do have a special for seven days only one dollar and then after that it's twenty five dollars a month for and you get all the searches you want for a dollar so apparently Joseph's worth was a dollar so I paid it and I I did a search well I completed the search that I'd already done and they were just holding the uh, results and 
He passed away December 10th, 2015. <laughs> and I'll never be able to ask any of the questions or say any of the things I wanted to say to him, ever. And now I have nobody to share those memories with that was there. And he died not knowing that I missed him. So, just, just a suggestion. You got some old friends that you haven't uh, hooked up with in a while? I don't know. Maybe it's time. Maybe not. Maybe it is. Maybe it'll turn out bad. They tell you to go screw yourself or they say who? But at least you don't have to look back like I do and realize that you hadn't said goodbye that one last time, even if it was just, a, okay, I'll talk to you later, goodbye. And that uh, it had been 20, 25, 30 years since you talked to the person. So, anyhow. So, we got, I think we've got one more layer to go, and I'll do that off camera. Whoa. Okay. All right. Just put the final window that I have in. And uh, we're going to go make some more pretty, pretty glass. put that back up here. That'd be kind of silly, but I have been known to, uh, hmm, is my boom mic slipping again? Hang on a second. I guess I'm going to have to tighten the, uh, <coughs> tighten it a little bit. There you go. Okay, we're back. We're back to normal. <laughs> back to, yeah. Well, well, well. Looks like we have to go get some more red stuff. I can't. Oh, I guess we actually did use it all. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's go find some red stuff. Gives us a chance to check things out. Oh, I think there's stuff right over there. Although, I think don't think this... Mm, maybe, we'll see. It's easy enough to find out. And if we cook that, maybe it turns into something. Maybe it doesn't. But we'll find another uh, red fleur, fleur while we're out here. I don't know what I have about red glass, but I just think it's so damn pretty. Where's the sun? Mm. Oh, there's the sun. Hi, sun. How you doing there, buddy? Could you stick around a little bit longer? Okay, that'd be good. Me and you's been buddies for a long time, right? Well... I think you owe me one, because oh, I can't think of any reason why you'd owe me one. Well, actually, if these work, I will need more than I have. So I'll pick up at least that much. we got to put a little walkie... Why a walkie? Yeah, a walkie place. A walking place there. Maybe when we cook it, it'll do something. Maybe not. But we'll find out. Oops. No, it does not cook. So that is not the red flower. It is not the red flower that I am looking for. Well. Well, that's just pitiful. I'll sleep for a while. Well, let's wake up. Yeah, 
it's funny because you can see in your mind the item. Because you can see it in your mind, you think, well, it's got to be somewhere. Well, it is. It's in your mind. Okay, enough, 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 enough. We know there's a bunch of red magic stuff over there, so let's go over here. Might be some normal stuff for us normal type people. Think that's still that magic stuff? Yeah, mystical red. Hey, horsey. I see it. Hi. Hope you never bother me because I never want to have to bother you. Ooh, what's this? What's this? That's a poppy. That poppy is red and it gives you red stuff. And it doesn't want to be all magical and crap. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what did I hear? I heard a bad thing. Bad, bad thing. Oh well. Excuse me, sheepy baba. My buddy. Tall muscle red for I know. Well, you tell me when there's a bad guy, okay? And I'll give you some leftovers. I'm a hell of a guy. That's looking good. I get the hoe out there. Some animals have been knocking stuff around. Probably I put a fence around it sooner or later. Woo! Sooner or later. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. That is. Okay. That's good. Now, please tell me I have the glass. No, I don't. It's outside, I think. And my wife said, why don't you just make this flat so you don't have to have go up and then go down again? And I said, well, you know, because. And that was the end of that conversation, so. In other words, I have no idea why I did it that way. I, I just did it. And she understood. So now we have 40. So we should have enough to finish this building and some more. Actually, I'm going to need it for uh, other finishing touches. I, uh, it was pointed out to me that I don't have a door, and that is true. And I have no excuse, nor any plans for a door. So I don't know what to tell you. It will be the building that will not be entered. And then we need some logs to put up there, and then we're Done with the walls, kind of. Yeah, we are. Is this the? Is this oak? Oh, I was thinking it was something else. I got oak right here. Can't wait to get those axes that just kind of knock all the wood out, and then the leaves fall, and it's all over. That is awesome. <laughs> that is how you used to have to fill it. That's I was just trying to show you that. This is what you do now. And you climb up here. And you just... And you just sit there. Whoa. Big leg. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. I was just wrong. 
So is that. <sighs> okay. Did not know I would need this many. Isn't that obvious? As soon as we get done, I'm going to start moving. Well, first of all, I'm going to route, see how I'm going to route the power. And normally what I try to do is keep the power on the, on the in the basement and then just uh, have cabling straight up to all the all the happy stuff I have upstairs and I'll probably stick with that because it works pretty good oh god that apple it'd be a good thing to get uh, on my on the UHC I mean the <laughs> UHC listen to me on the the Craft and the Curious server that I'm a member of because they changed it to um, hardcore mode and not so much hardcore as you can no longer regenerate health in normal ways you have to get gold and apples or potions or some other way of doing it and why so it'll be more fun no I'm sure there was really good reason uh, just to spice things up, probably. And then they're going to have like uh, 20 wither fight. Activate 20 withers and try to kill them. So it really is going to be more interesting. Guaranteed. I think I probably better wow well I think I can plant a lot it's not gonna be normal nature random because it is so so hard to randomize stuff I mean it is hard it's even hard to randomize stuff when you're writing a computer program even with uh, a random uh, let's see here a random function or whatever for a truly random oh well I might as well good lord I'm still coming up with them holy cow I'll never be able to plant this much never mind it's okay We'll just never mind about it. I think that needs a little work. Oops. corners done and that's about the time to end this epic episode and I'm sorry I got a little heavy on you but I just felt like maybe it needed to be said because uh, I do appreciate you guys watching and I don't want what happened to me to happen to you because there's uh, one thing that you will have an abundance of as you get older regardless of how you live your life and more so if you live your life a different way you're going to have regrets and um, they don't go away they just kind of clog up the works and you got to deal with them so wow just let me walk up to you buddy that's all right i like that that's fine i'm not hating you for that anyhow mm, minsters nearby who's the minster
There you are. Maybe. Maybe not. Any minsters here? Nope. All right. Now I can go to sleep. As long as no monster walked in while I was doing all that. All right. You guys take care of each other. This is Dalvin out. Love you guys.